What was your dream as a little girl? What did you want to become? I wanted to be a showgirl in Las Vegas or oh, yeah. a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Oh, yeah? <laughs> One or the other. I oh. got close enough. I became a stripper. Oh. Every woman should be a stripper for at least six months before she gets married. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, beautiful Ooh. Las Vegas on Boulder Highway. Yes. And we're here with Amanda. How you doing? Hi. Amanda, where are you from originally? I'm from Amarillo, Texas. Very nice. You know what Amarillo, Texas reminds me of? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For That's exactly what it's known for. That's oh, is it. it. Uh -huh. Horrific murders. Oh, and, and everyone's a little. I think they it's had horrific murders there? Horrible murders. They had one on Halloween that yeah. they killed a 70 some odd year old nun and raped her and what? they put the wrong kid to death. And How long ago was this? 20, it was in 86. Oh, back in those days. Look it up, there's a movie about it. What's the movie called? Johnny Frank Garrett's Last Word. Johnny Frank Garrett's Last Word? All right, I'm gonna look that up. You should look that up. It's really good. And then I watch Bomb seeing, City. And they're both about Amarillo. I remember Bomb City? Uh-huh. It's about a kid that got run over and they gave him probation. It's a true story. Yes, both of them are. And I remember a story I saw on uh, Forensic Files or something, some crazy story. About whatever. a kid that ran a kid over with a Cadillac. Maybe that one. That's like Bomb City. But oh. watch Johnny Frank Garrett's Last Word first. Then okay. watch Bomb City. They'll okay. give you a little insight. All right, Amarillo, Texas. Do you Amar give us permission to use this video on our YouTube channel? Of course. All right, let's take it back to Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo. What year were you born? I was born in 1974. All right, so you bought 48? Yes. What was uh, life like in Texas? I never felt like I belonged. It was always, always under the gun, always stressful, always worried about when somebody's going to turn on you, when everyone's going to banish you, when you're going to get this, that. Uh, they spread a rumor that I had a venereal disease and everybody who spread the rumor got the venereal disease. <laughs> in that little town? <laughs> oh, man. thought it was hilarious. Um, wow. They don't, they judge you harshly. Okay. Speaking of VD, how do you survive out here? Uh, the only VD I ever had was four kids and I gave them names and put them through school. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but there's a lot of, there's a bad element out here. You got to yeah. be careful. Got to be careful of the drugs. Got to okay. be careful of the people. How do you, uh, do you work on the streets? I guess, well, I kind of did. Okay. Used to. I What's used to the history around. behind that? I, I got dropped off here. Uh -huh. and didn't know anybody, didn't have a way home, didn't have anything to go home to. So I just decided I lived here and the neighborhood took me in. They all kind of took care of me. They all okay. looked out for me and fed me and clothed me and okay. fought my battles with me and took me in. And then I went back to Texas to see my kids and they were all grown up. They were fine. They didn't want anything to do with me. Nobody did. And everyone treated me like I was messed up or I was crazy or something because I would just speak my mind. And that's just not done there. And I didn't adhere to their religious beliefs. Okay. So I moved back here where I belonged. We'll go back a little bit to your childhood. You sound uh, very educated. Um, um, did you go to college? Yes, I did. did. you? Where'd Two you go? Years. Clarendon College. Okay. <laughs> but, and I took horticulture and ranch feed operation, English, uh, yeah? the basics. Yeah. But I should have taken, should have taken a more classes I just did what was your dream as a little girl what you want to become I wanted to be a showgirl in Las Vegas or oh, yeah. a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader oh yeah <laughs> one or the other I oh. got close enough I became a stripper in all right Amar what's a strip in Amarillo El Paso I danced at the Naked Harem Naked Harem oh, tell me a crazy story there oh my goodness they, I had a uh, one-legged stripper I worked with okay and a mother-daughter team and um, the one-legged stripper was a trip. It's hilarious. Oh, tell me more about her. She had a dressing room. I had the other dressing room. And in my dressing room, there was like this Buck Rogers shoot looking thing. It looked like a black tube. It was a door that led me to my backyard to the apartment. Okay. It's in case we had to escape. And um, that whole city's kind of weird. Yeah. El Paso was a trip. I Is ended it still up, there? Yeah. Strip club? I don't know. I hadn't been to El Paso in a while. Okay. But, now, did the strippers sleep with the clients? Some did. Okay, not all. Most of them. didn't. Most I didn't. didn't. We didn't have to. Okay, because I've heard that, that most do in California. Well, in California. In but, California, they might. Yeah. In Texas, well, in El Paso, a lot of the girls needed condoms to do dances. I thought that was hilarious. What? I was like, why do you need a condom to go do a private dance? But they're right on the border, and Got it. I was the only white girl there, the only one with blue eyes, I, and okay. I was the tallest one there. I stood out. A yeah, lot. yeah, it was a black strip club. 
it was more, it was two blocks from the border. Oh, okay, so Hispanic? Yes. Mm. And I spoke English, and yeah. the Nella Self Rose guys liked me, and, you oh, yeah. know, I had blue eyes. Did you uh, learn Spanish while you there? A little bit. I got yeah. better at it in Pampa, yeah. Texas. Did you? Okay. I, I've been practicing. Any high rollers come through there? Anyone famous come through there? No. No? Okay. No. Nobody goes through Amarillo. It's in the Panhandle. No, at the strip club. Any at famous? the strip club? I met Hootie and the Blowfish. You did? Yes. They came down, huh? They came party? down to the strip club, party one night. I think right. Hootie wasn't there. Okay. But the Blowfish was no, there. No, Hootie was the main singer, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's his name? I don't know. I used to the, the, to the guy yeah. that was married to, to yeah. Garth Brooks' wife, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. there. Okay. He got me drunk. <laughs> he got you drunk? Um, I That's met Don awesome. Haskins at the bar in El Paso. Any great, uh, any great memories from the stripping days? Look, tons of them. Yeah. Tons of them. I never felt more alive or yeah. more beautiful or more powerful in my whole life. What's your message to young women who want to get into stripping? Every oh. woman should be a stripper for at least six months before she gets married. What's your advice, though, if they get into it? Be careful. You don't need to do anything. You know, you don't have to do anything. They, you can, they will give you money for anything that you have, especially if you have personality. That's all it takes. And you learn a lot. I learned a lot learning from these people, their their lives, their jobs, their regulars. Same thing with the homeless people, everybody. Yeah. Just take it for what it's worth. So Every you woman do recommend should strip. it that every woman should strip. And I have four daughters. I okay. think my daughters should strip before okay. they should get married. Then they realize the power a woman okay, has. Okay, what kind of woman shouldn't strip? Personality type. If uh, she's passive, really into pr and being, preaching at everybody yeah. and being better than everybody else, she's probably going to get beat up. Okay. A okay. lot. Okay. And she's probably not going to be real happy. Mm -hmm. um, prudish women, I was kind of the biggest prude you would have ever met you? until I got in there. And okay. then it was like, woo! They trained you, huh? It does. It makes you just realize you're just boobs. All right. So when did you first use drugs? I was 30. Oh, you never used it as a child? Not until I lost custody of my kids for drug usage. How weird is that? We're going to come back to that. Okay. When you were a child, so high school, nothing? No drank. Drug? I drank. Okay, you drank. I, okay, got now. A, I stole cocaine from a cop car once. Right. <laughs> I took it across. The, I was. It was a small town, and I was just kind of trying to get under the sheriff's skin. He ended up my daughter's granddad. He... So when you're growing up, no problems. What about was there any uh, history of abuse in your family, yes. like neglect or? My stepdad, my family changed when I was nine years old. Everything changed. Okay, what happened? My mom hooked up with a man at work that was married. She was married. She got pregnant. They got married and moved me away to the small town. Okay. And it changed everything, and I became kind of a loner, but okay. I stood out. It made sure everybody knew. What age was that? I was nine when I grew up. Before that, was it life good? Life was grand before that. I was with my grandparents most of the time, my mom, and then everything changed when she got with my stepdad. Were you ever abused or molested? Well, he tried that, and I ended up running away from home and stealing cocaine from the cop car so that I'd get arrested. So He didn't arrest me. He sent me to the nut house because I told him I had good insurance. Send me to the pavilion until I'm 18. Oh, and so you, were you in a group home, a foster kinda, care? It was a residential treatment center thing. Okay. I had good insurance until I was 18, oh, and right. then they kicked me out a little bit too soon. Did your parents try to get you back when you um, went into the... Oh, every, as long as she got her child support, she was okay. Oh, so you were in the system. I, I was a, My dad made really good money and paid really good child support. Did you feel loved as a kid after no, nine? No. Okay. Can you explain that? I never felt like anybody loved me until I moved here. You know, no one loved you even before nine? So you were neglected. Kind of. I was a, a paycheck. Okay, how, did that, how do you think that affected you growing up? Yeah. As far as your personality? I have a real hard time attaching to people. They okay. have to really prove to me that they want me in their life or else I'll just run away. Now you're married to a young man, a really nice young man over yes, there. Yes, I am. You happy? Yes, I am. Does he make you feel loved? Yes, he does. He makes me feel loved and he hunts me down and he just doesn't let me go. You like that, don't you? Yes, I do. I okay. needed that. Yeah, you need, you're missing that all your life? Yes, and he was willing to come here on my word that yeah. we would be okay. How many children do you have? Four. Are you close to them? No, they don't talk to me. Why do you think that is? Because they were taught that I was a bad person and I was a horrible mother and I was a terrible and drug addict before I ever did drugs. Same father or different? Different dads. All four different? Okay. About five minutes after I got, they were conceived, their dads were gone. But they turned that out okay. By their choice, right? By their choice. All right, now, tell me now, let's go back to uh, the first time you did drugs. What uh -huh. was the situation like? Um, I was at a bar and this girl was snorting a line of cocaine in El Paso. And I thought, why not? I've already lost my kids. What are they going to do, take my kids? Yeah. So I did a line of cocaine. 
And then that started it all? Started it all. And then years? fell in love with the drug dealer. Oh, you fell in love with the drug dealer? That's not a good one. I was going to say we. Okay. I so didn't. you started 18. Did you have any periods of sobriety from 30 to 48? Yeah. Well, you have had sobriety. Yeah, I was sober uh, most of the time until oh, you were. I was, well, not really, I guess. I mm. Think about it. I smoke weed all the time. Okay. All the time. What are you time. currently using? I smoke weed. Every okay. now and then I'll smoke a little meth, but most of the You're not hooked weed, on it? No. What about fentanyl? I won't touch it. That's why I won't smoke meth. It's okay. because I'm scared of the fentanyl. Now, how long have you been homeless? Um, Past year. What did you do before this? Where were you living? I was living in a shop in Amarillo, working okay. at the shop. Doing, I was the night watchman. I lived okay. in the shop and he paid me to live there. Oh, you did? Okay, with your husband? Nope. Okay. Just me. How long have you been married? Less than six months. Oh, okay. You're living in a shop. You're living okay. Uh, you had food and water and everything, uh -huh. housing. How did you end up homeless? Um, he moved in another girl that was much more fun than me. And mm. my boyfriend at the time and him got into a fight. So mm. he kicked me out. And I've mm. been kicked out of everywhere since then. What makes you happy, Amanda? I don't know. Being able to be me and, and not feel judged. Not okay. feel... Like, You're always smiling out here and happy. Always. What's the best thing about your life right now? I'm home. Okay. I'm, I'm here and the sun is shining and it's beautiful here. Do you want to uh, bond with your kids again? Do you... I would love to bond with my kids What's again. What's your message to each one of them? I love you and I wish you would call me, get a hold of me somehow. So you still love them? Yes. Mom very is much. here for you. I miss them. What's your greatest childhood memory? Being at the, the bar and dancing to the jukebox and the lights. Oh, the stripping? Nope. When oh. I was a little kid, I oh, would go kid. into the bar. Oh, oh. I go into the Moose Lodge with my grandparents. Oh, yeah? And that's where I wanted to be a showgirl. That's where you learned it, huh? Uh huh. Or a dance so you're, cowboy. You're a dancer. It. What was your favorite kind of music? Any kind of music that would make me good money, I could mm. dance to it. Yeah? Anything. What was your theme song when you were stripping? Or a couple of your theme songs? Bad to the Bone. I Bad to the Bone. Bone. What else? Pussy Liquor by Rob Zombie. What? See, I, I kind of miss that, uh, the rock stuff, you know? Yeah. Now the, it's, I mean, I Try love. Try Ghost Main. I love hip hop, but I, you know, Try it, Ghost wasn't it better Main. with rock? Try Ghost clubs? Main. Yeah. It's okay. the greatest band ever. What? Free plug. Greatest band ever. Is, what's the best concert you've been to? Poison. Poison? The old school Poison? <laughs> what's their big hit? I don't remember. Talk Dirty to Me. Oh, yeah, Talk Dirty. <laughs> Who's the lead singer? Uh, Sebastian or something? No, no, no. It was Brett Michaels. Oh, that's right. Brett and, Michaels. And C.C. DeVille. All the girls liked the Loved Sebastian, I liked, Brett Michaels. Oh, yeah. I met him once. I went to Where's that you? concert with a friend of mine that just walked by. We went uh -huh. to a concert that was Twisted Sister, Great White, um, I rock. Extreme, <laughs> yeah. Skid Row. Extreme. Extreme. Okay. They were around. They all looked really old, though. Yeah. But it was a cool concert. They looked kind of old back then. Even though they were young, they looked kind of old it back then. It was a cool concert, though. Yeah. I mean, what's your advice for young people who are trying to get into drugs or want to get into drugs? Leave it alone. Just smoke weed. What Just have you, what have you lost from drugs? Nothing, really. Oh, Boyfriends. You, doesn't really affect you. Boyfriends to, to the prison system. Oh, you've been to prison? No. Okay. No prison. I, I drive without a license, willfully in multi-states. Let's say someone watching this and they, a family member or someone that cares about you, that wants to help you. How can they help you? What can they do for you? Find me a house, find him a job. What kind of, what does he do? Anything. He just needs a job? He just needs a job and he's got a license. What's, what's one song you can listen to all day? You can't get Wish sick of you it. were here by Pink Floyd. Well, do you meditate or do you have any hobbies or anything like that? I meditate How do you relax? a lot. Do you? A lot. Yeah, do you read? All the time. What do you like reading? Everything. Okay. Anything. Okay. Nonfiction, fiction, historical, non-historical, mm. modern, anything. Poetry. I told you when I first met you, you sounded very smart. I try to be. Do you know anyone in your life that's sober right now, that's, that's living a good life, that, have, that has overcome addiction? My friend Jay. Yes, oh, yeah. he has. Are you close to him? Yes, I live, in yeah. East, oh, I live on his patio. If you could go back to when you were younger, what would you do different? Nothing. Nothing. It all happened for a reason, and I'd be different. I, I love right. my life. What animal are you? I'm a Personality wolf. Personality-wise. I am a wolf. Okay, why are you a wolf? I just, a wolf. The, the most perfect animals, perfect yeah. predator, perfect family Beautiful. unit. Yeah. They are tight. They don't yeah. think in pair, they think in pack. That tells me a lot about you. Very good. Are you a late or early person? Yeah, I get up. I'm a late person. Late I person? Like, well, no, I get up early and I go to bed early. I'm kind of getting old. What's your favorite color? My favorite color, shiny. Shiny? Uh huh. Okay. Everything good, shiny. For Jeannie, gave me three wishes. Jeannie, gave me three wishes. I'd have house. 
I'd have my ID, and I'd have my kids. What if you were on an island, you can only take three items, what would you take with you? My critter and a, a water dis, a water purification uh -huh. yeah. system and a tent. All right, that, that's, that's common, those two things, the tent and the water, a lot of people say that. And my critter. Who's your critter? Oh, okay, okay, your husband. Who's your high school crush? Um, his name was Glenn Miller, and he ended up in prison for murder when I was what? 16. Did he murder someone you knew? Yes, oh. on my 16th birthday, or oh. a week before my 16th birthday. It was someone you knew? I was terrible. And the principal, and it was a, it's on, Google it. He murdered a principal? He shot him six times through the door, but the he didn't principal? kill him. principal? Yeah. Oh my God. On Friday the 13th, 1990. Guy. What was his name? Glenn Miller, Kenneth Glenn Miller. M-I-L-N-E-R. Check him out. That's oh, the terrible. first boyfriend kind of set the stage. What high school did you go to? I went to Panhandle High School and Clarendon High School. Were you popular? No. no. I was the outcast. Oh, really? That was always in trouble and dating college oh. boys. You were kind of the cool chick. I didn't think I was a cool chick. Yeah. Nobody liked me, but oh. I was always in trouble and really? running around and causing ha havoc. What's your most embarrassing moment in life? Yelling at a house full of people that let me take a shower at their house. I thought they were talking trash on me and I went to go stand up for myself and they weren't talking about me at all. And I was in a house full of big, big men <laughs> and they're all laughing at me and I'm like, oh God. Oh. I was all teary eyed, crying, telling them I'm a good girl. <laughs> What's your message to the world? Love each other, don't judge each other. What would you do if you were the president? Make drugs legal okay. and, and make it to where you could get a job based on your performance, not on your drug usage. Okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have six brothers and sisters. Did they talk to you? Anyone trying no. to help you out? No? Nobody talks Why to me. Why not? Because I'm kind of the outcast of the family. Is your mom and dad still alive? They passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. How long ago? Uh, my mom died in 2005. My dad died in 1999. Oh, well, thank you so much for this interview, Amanda. You're welcome. You, you are incredibly talented and very well, bright. Well, thank you. Um, what do you want to say? Thank you. I love this guy. This is a great channel. <laughs> thank you. Why'd you say that? Because I, I love this. I got it like, I'm going to be your biggest fan now. I mean, I, I have a feeling you're going to be a very popular person. I am here, very <laughs> popular here. Yeah. They all no, remembered on the, me. On the, on YouTube. I, I hope so. I, I bet hope you, you guys think I so. bet you other people are going to come and uh, interview you too. I, I would love that. All right. You're so all awesome. Right.